decent in there. It looks terrible from the top. And underneath. All right, Nathan, what are we doing today? All right, today we're gonna keep. Man, I feel like I've repeated my. This feels like deja vu. <laughs> we're gonna keep mounting things in the Cortina. But what we are gonna do today is we're gonna mount the ECU um, in the glove box. I got the glove box insert here. And I looked at this and straight away said, I don't want to cut this up. But I, what I am going to do is now I see how it's mounted. It's got these four points here, how it screws in. So what I did was I just measured those four points and I made this plate at the factory and folded it up. And then this is going to bolt in to where this would bolt in factory. So I'm not drilling any more holes. So it's pretty much going to pick up those four points. And then the ECU is just going to bolt straight to this like so, and Bob's your uncle. And as well, I also got an FG pedal. This is a Bluetooth pedal. Um, <laughs> you just connect it to Bluetooth and it'll all of a sudden start working. I don't think it works like that. But. No, I look at all the wires, why, why is there so many wires? <laughs> what to it, isn't there? Yeah. So we do need to make this today. You cannot buy a bracket to suit an FG pedal to go into your Ford Cortina. We reckon we're gonna use the existing bracket that bolts to the firewall and build off that and make it some beefy ass bracket, maybe like a side bracket as well, because this needs to be pretty bloody solid. Yeah. So first thing we're gonna start with is we're gonna try and mount this beautiful thing. Like we said, Nathan has made this bracket. The idea is this goes in the glove box and you'll see in a minute what we're talking about. The wires will run down under the glove box, so we've got easy access to them. And these two battery cables can run over the top, so they're out of the way. It means that we can release everything from this ECU if we need to get it out nice and easily, just get these pop off. They're actually really cool. They're a weather type fit because this can obviously go outside. So they've got like these heaps of seals on them and this quick release button on it. Got to make sure you put antifreeze in it, otherwise it will freeze over there. <laughs> yeah, exactly right, <laughs> especially in this weather. <laughs> but to be able to pull it in and out will be really helpful when we're trying to get all this done. I still need to clean it up. I literally made this this morning. That just gonna sit in like that, and then there's gonna be a bolt there, bolt there, bolt there, bolt there. All right, and then the ECU. ECU's gonna go like that. Shaboom! And then we've got the side of that to run relays and stuff, because I know Michael rolled his eyes when I said it, but I don't want relays in the engine bay. I want them all in here. Yeah, just to make things easier. Just to make things easier. So what I have noticed though, is that there's not a lot of space between the bottom of the dash and this this bottom part here. Yeah. But now that I know it bolts up there, I can piss this off. So I'll clean all this up. I will bolt this in. It does use like just plastic speed nuts, but I'm thinking of nuts maybe it. putting a nut cert in. But the thing is the hole is square. We want to make this car pull apart easy to pull service. Apartable. Pull apartable, exactly right. Like, you know, that plate bolts in there, that all bolts in. I want this to bolt in easy so then we can easily pull this out, even though it's a pain in the ass to get in and out anyways. <laughs> All right, while well, Nathan's cutting that up, I'm gonna try and get this accelerator pedal out so that we can try and figure out how we're gonna mount the new one. I'll try and show you as best I can. Filming it's gonna be a pain. Making the bracket's gonna be even more of a pain, but Gotta be done. I know it's only a pen, but this is the most underrated tool in a workshop. I agree, in case no one's seen it, show them what it is. It's long and pointy to get through like a deep hole to mark it. It is super handy. Very we good. need to get more actually, they're highly underrated. Very underrated. But it gives you stuff like that because there's no way you're getting through that with a normal uh, normal pen. No, that's gonna go like that. And it comes with bolts and nuts. Do you wanna nutsert that so we don't have to get our hands behind it to do it up? I didn't want to. <laughs> <laughs> if we nut and bolt it, it means that we have to get something behind it to get it out. Fine. How much, uh, oh, there's swimming amounts of room there. Yes. <laughs> it's not tight like, the stuff in the boot, like when you nutsert the battery tray and that, the bolts are tight to the hole. Yeah. And like the nutserts have to be bang on. hundred percent perfect. But there's a little bit of, there's a little bit of swim room there. They so. obviously allow for nutsert <laughs> intolerances. I do want to, I didn't want to nutsert it if it was tight, but I will nutsert it now that- um, Should be right. It should be fine. All right, nutserts, I'll do that now. Yeah. 
pretty fancy. It does, doesn't it? Oh yeah. Very nice, Gary. I like it, looks good. The lugs are hitting. Yeah, then we can't get them off. We can't get them off. Damn, that looks so good too. What are we gonna do? Damn it, oh, maybe I should have dropped it down. Drop this down, and then the lugs will be below that. I could just drop it down. If you want to. Because then the lugs can go back at the top. If you want to. It's, it's, a, it's, it's just four more nuts. So it's, yeah, well. We can what? Have... I'll do it, and then we can decide if we want to move it later. We can have options. We can have options. <laughs> <laughs> That was the old hey Bowie. That's pretty beefy, isn't it? Yeah, I like that bracket to work off. Yeah, it could give us something to work with because there's plenty of metal here and it's nice and thick. Yeah, but I reckon just strip it, pull that out, yeah. bolt it back in, and then go from there, get some cardboard. All right, I'm going to see how I can make this work. I might just tack something up to try and get it in the position that it needs to be and then figure out how to strengthen the absolute bejesus out of it. Oh, so this needs to go somewhere around about here. <laughs> Nathan's just realized he's put steel nut certs into this, which are really, really hard to do up at the best of time, let alone when you're using the right angle nut cert gun. All right, while well, Nathan struggles with that, and I'm gonna try and work out how to make this bracket work. So I've pulled out the original pedal. I'm gonna try to use this because, well, it's strong, it's bulky. It's already got my holes and studs that go into the firewall. So hopefully I can weld something to this. I've got some formative idea of what I want to do. How does it look sitting all there? Like how much of a bracket do you need to make? Lots. Oh really? Yeah, it's going to be huge. But it's what it has to be, unfortunately. All right, where are we at? All right, so we've figured out how we're going to bolt this in now. We just put the nut certs in the plate and it's going to lap over the edge so then we can bolt through the dash into the nut cert. Yep. And this should all bolt in and be solid. So I'm gonna bolt it in now, see if I can bolt the ECU in with the plate in. I don't know if I will be able to, but we'll see. Okay. Nice. Oh yeah, I like that a lot. All right, so do we have to take the panel out to get the ECU in and out? That is the big question. Yes. Oh! Ooh, it doesn't need much. God! It doesn't need much at all, doesn't it? Ah, oh, well. Well, at least now the plate's easy to get in and out because it's got nut certs in it. Yeah, exactly. Right. What's this running, mate? Oh, not tearing crumpets, mate. Not tearing crumpets. Oh, oh. that's the next one. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Very nice. Nice, Gary. So, we can now see the lights, because um, it's dropped about 20 mil now. Yep. Um, these, we can hook them over if we wanted to. Would it look better? Yeah, but pulling it in and out might cause to be a pain in the ass. Yeah. Um, so, I don't know, we'll see. But then if we go over to the front here, the relays are gonna be there. So, I mean, we could just run the Put relays. Put the relays below, it'll be fine. Upside down or below. But at least it's mounted, it looks good. Plenty of room to work. Yeah, I like I'm, it. Well I'm done. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, you don't even know it's there. Michael is still working on the pedal. I'm sure he's anxiously waiting for me to finish this so then um, I no. can stand there and laugh at him. Uh, no, I think I've come up with an idea of how I'm going to do it. It's going to be ugly. It's going to involve angle iron. But I think I can get it to work because I just realized there's this here. There's a big plate at the back here, which is fairly substantial, fairly chunky. Like it's actually part of the frame. Mm -hmm. So my plan is, and I'm making a template out of steel at the minute just so I can actually bend up something fairly lightweight and easy to work with rather than the big angle that I'm going to work with, you'll see. It's fairly thick. I'm going to have to cut and notch it to make all the bends. So I'm going to make a template out of this first, and it's going to be fairly simple. If you can see down here at all, I don't know if you can, but there is the original bracket here. What I'm going to be thinking of doing is I can weld a flat piece of angle iron to come up to here, and then basically mount this to the dash and just do this oh okay but i'm gonna i have to put a couple of bends in so it needs to come and then bend up yeah yeah because this doesn't go in flat it needs to go in slightly angled to yeah. get your pedal feel right and to also get it in the right location yeah in relation to the brake mm. so i need to put a little bit of a kink in it i don't think it's gonna be anything major sacrificing a good little bit of steel to be honest but it is what it is it is what it is that seems to be today's word of the day <laughs> 
Alright, so this is what we're looking at. This is my jigger. My jigger jig. And this is what she's looking at in the minute, so. So we sort of got an idea of what it looks like. And we push that there. It shouldn't go anywhere now. That's yeah, sort of like a test bed. How's it feel? Transition from accelerator to brake, and that's the biggest thing, I guess. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> nah, that feels good. You reckon? Yeah, I think that's perfect. It looks relatively right. I would have liked the pedal to be a little higher, but Nate's saying that he likes it there. The biggest thing I think they need to worry about is going from accelerator to brake. Does that feel comfortable? Yeah, yeah. See, I, I think that feels good. If you're happy with it, look, at the end of the day, if you're happy with it, I'm happy to, to make up the thing and try it. <laughs> None of that, mate. None of that anymore. No, I think that's good. I mean, it looks right. But you know what the thing is? When have you ever looked at pedals and really assessed like what pedals look like next to each other? The only pedal I've gone to look at at the moment is I've gone to go look at the panel van. That's, yeah. that's what I'm comparing it to. <laughs> and that's probably not the best yeah. pedal. No one, no one goes for a new car and goes, don't like how the pedals are, eh? No, I suppose that's right, isn't it? I think it's alright. I think it's perfect where it is. I don't even got a bang on. I think I'm overthinking it. Yeah. This is the most important one. Oh shit! <laughs> Double foot break. Yeah. That was the easy bit. Now the hard bit. Now I have to make that into angle line. So this is my template. It's pretty basic actually. I thought I was going to have to do two dog legs in it, but it's only one. So now that I have this, I'm going to transfer it onto this. Going to make a pie cut right about here to be able to bend this to match that angle. And then once I've done that, I can then weld it back up and that'll give it all the strength that it should need. There's no way that this sucker is going to twist. <laughs> if I had to use this, you'd get twisting force in this. So you'd be surprised how much pressure someone can put onto a pedal when they really want to run 10 seconds. <laughs> so that'll twist and you don't want that. So we're going to use this. It's like three mil steel. This sidewall will provide more than enough strength in stopping you from going up and down and bending in the actual bracket itself, whereas that will. It's just going to be a pain to get it in there. That's going to be the hardest thing, to weld it in place and whatever. It's going to be hard to work with. That's why I use this to begin with. So I'll make some pie cuts now and then weld it back up. Now I just need to figure out how much of an angle do we need to take out of there. Yeah, how much pie to cut out. How much pie to cut yeah, out. I could use a piece of paper. Do you want me to show you? What, just... Hang on, I'll show you. I got no okay, idea. show me. Yeah. I am ready for you, genius. Let me see. What do you do? Who taught you this? <laughs> huh? Huh? That's how much you take out. <laughs> yeah, I like it. All right. Honestly, I just thought of it on the spot. I didn't watch anyone. <laughs> Did you? No. I drew a square line on that. So I just cut it like that, huh? Pretty much. Oh, I like it. So that is my wedge, apparently. Let's see if it works, Nathan. Yeah, I'm kind of keen to see if it works too. <laughs> I thought it was pretty genius. I was going to use math, which would have taken ages, but this is far easier. All right, let me cut it. What a beautiful little V. That's hot. Nathan doesn't reckon that our little bendy doover over there is going to be able to bend this thick steel, so let's prove him wrong. And yes, we're coming to the big vice because I want all the leverage. It's a bit scary, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's closing up, yeah, keep going. Damn, that's done a nice. Oh, mate! Look at that! Who needs CAD? You just need paper. Is it going to spring back? My maths teachers were wrong. You will amount to something. You just need paper. Look Damn, that. that bent it really... I'm actually quite impressed. That'll be good for bending flat bar and stuff now. Yeah. I didn't really. realise it would do that. So how close is the angle? Mate, that's bang on. Bloody ripper. It's flush. Good. That is ripper. I commend you. Well done. That was, uh, that was a good method. Alright, what mumbo jumbo are you up to now? Alright. So I need to run the wiring harness through the firewall for that big ass grommet there. For the big ass grommet, it is a two inch grommet. It asks for a hole of two inch. So we have an existing hole in the firewall that we want to use, which is 25 mil. 
and I've got a two inch hole saw which isn't going to work because I can't put the, the pilot drill in to center it. Because so, the hole is like... Because the hole is... The existing hole is right where that needs to go. Yeah. So, <laughs> it's a lot of effort. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to weld a plate over the top, just tack it on the edges so then I can put a new hole. I can drill my hole through with my hole saw, cut the plate off, Bob's your uncle, I've got my new hole. A lot of effort to make a hole. It's a lot of effort to make a hole, but where it is, is really nice. Like it's it's bang on where I want my hole. Yeah, it's where we want it to come out. So a bit more work to make the hole there, but it'll work perfect. Uh, <laughs> bit tight. Bit tight. Oh yeah. You know you gotta cut it back off, yeah? Yeah, I okay. know. I can see you punching the intake manifold I can, I can see myself punching that corner, yeah. 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 Goodbye, Michael. I can see it too. Hope that's in the right spot. Ugh. I can't believe you're using the King Chrome hole saws before I am. I know. Ugh. Oh, yeah? Straight through the well. That'll be good for it. <laughs> oh, sharp there drill bit. God damn. Because you come straight through the well. <laughs> That's so why I put earmuffs on. <laughs> look, look at him. It's loose in his mind. Spray it. Oh, that's mint, man. That's mint. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, he's had, a, he's had a coke. I'm graphing it up. Yeah. <laughs> why is the handbrake up? It does nothing. <laughs> I don't understand you. You do nothing. Come on, baby girl. My spaghetti. Hey, the, the hole saw did well. Did it? That cut well. Well, considering you were going through a weld, yes. Hey, what a hole saw is made for? Cutting holes, man. Not welds. Yeah, same shit. It's all just steel. All right. Well, now you're gonna cut that steel plate out. Yes. Oh, there you go. There's a hole for the wiring work. Hopefully, it looks good on the other side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you imagine it's in the wrong spot? Oh no, mate. That's my own. Oh, that's gonna look good. Yeah. No, that's gonna be good. Slowly getting there. So, I've got my bracket welded up to the original bracket. It looks ugly at the minute, and it is ugly, but it should work. I just need to get this mounted. Nathan cut some gussets. So we're gonna throw some gussets in here and weld that in just for a little bit of extra strength and rigidity. And then I gotta put an end plate on here. Then, I should be ready to put it into the car, finally. But. I just want to get this pedal mounted properly before I go any further and then we can do those gussets and then the end plate I reckon well the end plate and then the gussets This should be up on there like that I'm going to put that through like that Good. Feels probably solider than it was in the Falcon that it came out of no one really grabs it like this again. <laughs> if this thing's in an accident, this will be the only thing that doesn't crumple. Pretty much a roll cage, eh? You could. You could mount it as a roll cage, yeah. Thank you, sir. So this is our magnificent bracket in all its glory. <laughs> She's a bit ugly. <laughs> but you can see our issue. This is where the firewall is. This is where our next mounting point is. And this is where our pedal had to go. Yeah. How do you do all this and keep strengthening it, you know? Mm. That's why we're going to this way overkill. But I mean, this is not going to move. You don't want any movement in your pedal. So last thing you want to do is go down the strip and all of a sudden your pedal goes <laughs> and falls off. <laughs> Okay, world's heaviest heavy duty FG Xano pedal bracket going in. Who would think it would take a whole day to mount, mount a, pedal. a bloody pedal? I actually think this looks quite neat under here now. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. God, it's got a lot of sideways movement. It does have a lot of sideways movement. But that's just in the pedal, yeah? It's in the pedal. It's actually flexing in the pedal itself. Boof! 
Damn, put, it looks good. Should we put the seating first? Yeah, I reckon. Put the seating, we're done. Look at that. We actually made something work. It looks half decent in there. It looks terrible from the top. From un underneath, it still looks pretty legit, really. Nathan hasn't actually seen it underneath the car yet. Oh, yeah. That actually looks all right. Goes around the vent. Yeah, it looks all right, huh? Yeah. It's solid as. <laughs> no, it looks good under there. Um, yeah, you wouldn't even know, really. Yeah, from here. That's the idea, isn't it? To yeah. Look, look standardish. Yeah, but you know what that means, Michelle? What? This is our list before we get all our parts to plumb this thing. Mount FG accelerator pedal. It's Nexus, Nexus is mounted. <laughs> um, we're doing pretty good. Yeah, well, we've only got the shitty stuff left. Yeah. Make brake lines, handbrake cable. Yeah, that thing, it's already mounted under there. We're, we're going to reuse that spot there. Yeah. Um, the make lines is obviously in plumbing, so I'm going to get rid of that. Yeah. We've only got brakes to do. Brakes. I think it looks good. I think it looks like it's in a standard position. I don't think it's mounted at the right height as well, too. And the best bit is, drop that drop that uh, glove box for a second, mate. Oh, yeah. Oh. And then, boom. Should put it on a light so it senses. No. Nah. <laughs> it does. It does have a glove box light. <laughs> no, nah, that looks good. Everything. Yeah, no, that's pretty much it for the mounting mounting side of things. i got to be honest, getting the pedal done was something that I've been stressing about for a while now, trying to figure out how to mount it. So I'm glad that it's done. It was a pain. I'm happy with the result. It looks really good. So No, nah, it looks really good. And yeah, I think that's it for today. We all got to shoot off to go to work and stuff like that. It, it is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Word of the day, it is what it is. Word of the day is it is what it is. If you comment that below, we'll pick out two people to send out uh, Hackshop Garrett sticker packs to. I don't even know why we've come up with that because we've made tiny little changes to make, it, make things work better. Yeah, but it is what it is. <laughs> Anyways, um, um, support the channel, head on over to the website, buy a bunch of merch, goes a long way, or become a Hackshop Garage member, that helps out as well too. Other than that, we'll see you in the next episode, next I guess. Next episode, yeah. When we do some, hopefully some wiring in this thing. Hopefully that, hopefully maybe pulling an engine out of a car. I don't know, we've, we've, got, we've got projects coming out of our ass at I the know. moment that we need to get started on. For the record, the Gemini is done. The rust repairs are done. Yeah, so, Michael knocked out the rust repairs. So we actually do have to spend a day on the Gemini and get that car back up and running again and driving. But anyway, good things coming. Make sure you subscribe. See you then. This I've, is Bolt Straight I've just seen the fog come off your breath. Oh, it's cold. Why do we not have the heater on? Because the heater's frozen over. I'm waiting for it to warm up a bit. You're kidding. Yeah. <laughs> I'll try again now. See if, <laughs> see if we can get some heat out of it. Why don't you put antifreeze in it? Good question. Are you gonna work? Sometimes it'll just do that and then it goes because the condenser's too cold. Welcome to Melbourne, people! <laughs> Alright, so it looks a bit weird, it kind of looks like a Star Wars, um, you know, those. Um, no. Do you know anything about Star Wars? Those... That's a Wookiee. <laughs> no, the, they make that noise when they fly. Like TIE Fighter? It looks like a TIE Fighter. Don't it's know like it. a Nintendo cartridge. <laughs> <laughs> Why? This is going to be us on, on the side of the road of Drag Challenge 2025. Why is it only running on five cylinders? <laughs> Get tap it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I'm a dragon! I've already said how much I'm enjoying working with aluminum instead of 10 mil thick steel. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's, it's for our American people that probably aren't even watching this. We're probably getting all the bloody British people. Marge, where's my tea and crumpets? Left at the right side. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need to address something. Has anybody noticed this yet? It's not gonna lie, I bought these yesterday. <laughs> Nathan is wearing pants not only today, but he bought them and wore them yesterday. I nearly died when I saw him in the factory, but what we're getting oh, is... Oh, you know that I bought them yesterday. Yeah, what we're getting is this. Hear the swish swish. He's very swish swishy at the moment. He's got brand new pants. I'm ready to jump off a cliff, parachute with my parachute pants. And they look like that. They're, they're pretty work cool. pants. They're pretty cool. What they're are just they? very cool. They're anthem. Anthem. What's your anthem? Whoop 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 whoop. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> I swear.
sweat. No worries, Rihanna. You can put your umbrella in Makapela. In Makotina. If anyone wants to know, that is Nathan's anthem, and one day we should do a full version of Nathan singing capella. <laughs> it is his favourite. We'll do it karaoke at Drag Shop. All you need to do is someone needs to start singing that after Nathan's had a couple of beverages, and it's on. <laughs> <laughs> We have been accepted into Drag Challenge, everyone. Hey! On a car that's not even built yet. Yeah, here's the secret. We're not, <laughs> we're not taking the fair lane this time. <laughs> I'm going to drill it here because it's warm in here. Huh? I'm going to drill it in this room because, <laughs> because it's warm in this room. <laughs> I'm just going to put the bin under it. 